Good morning everybody! It's me again, Crazy Bag Lady. So it's Wednesday. It's a wet one. It's a wet one at the minute. Whether it's going to brighten up or not, I'm not sure. But I don't think it's going to be as nice as yesterday. Uh, yesterday was absolutely lovely. So it's a bit gloomy out there this morning. Good morning, me. Little Pat, Peggy and everybody. Um, little Bubba Blossom. Oh, I can't wait to see what April's calendar is. He's so cute. Remember? Thank God, you're fabulous. And little positive potato, I hope you're all doing okay. Um, I've just made myself a doctor's appointment, so I'm a bit worried about something. So I thought, oh, I better go and get it checked. Um, as you know, I hate medical appointments, so I'm already really, really nervous. But I thought, I just sort of want to be honest and say, if you're not sure about something in your body, go and get it checked. Um, so I've got an appointment at quarter to one. It took me 20 minutes to get through to the doctors this morning, uh, which in itself is quite stressful. Um, the poor NHS, I know it's under so much pressure. I feel so bad for it all. Um, so if you've worried about something, please go and get it checked. Um, I don't want to go, but sometimes you just have to get yourself sorted out. So this seems to be a year of like health and appointments. So we'll just go with the flow and every appointment that keeps coming, we'll just go to it, even though it causes me so much stress. I'm still waiting for my glasses to come back, which is another thing that's playing on the back of my mind, but I've not heard from them yet. So um, they sort of do take about two weeks and it's nearly two weeks, I think, since I last went. So fingers crossed my glasses won't be much longer. Right, so calendar of the day. Okay, we've got um, think happy, be happy. My mum always says that. Um, she's always like, yeah, think positive thoughts, you know. And if you think think lucky, and you'll be lucky. So think happy, and you'll be happy. So lovely Lorraine's magic. We've got the crystal ball tells me your future looks bright. Oh, I hope so. That's very kind. And lovely Chanel's pocket wisdom. We've got fashion changes, but style and years. So, happy Wednesday. I'm not sure what I'm going to do to kill the time till quarter to one. It's going to be a long morning. Well, you can tell that they've all had the morning treat, but they've not had a bran plate yet. Very different compared to yesterday morning. You can tell it's not as warm. Right, breakfast. So, breakfast this morning, I've got 40 grams of blueberry wheat, skimmed milk <coughs> and blueberries. And the only person that's come for a bran plate is Florence. There you go. Right, Florence, tell everybody what you did this morning. So, at four, I looked at my phone, it was 4.50 in the morning. Florence jumped out of bed and decided she needed a wee and started barking. Well, because my husband asked to drive, I thought, oh, I don't want to wake him up. So I jumped out of bed, followed her into the kitchen with the blooming light of my phone torch, let her outside because I didn't want to wake Dolly and Winnie up, let her outside for a wee and then let her back in again. And then, of course, I got back in bed and then I couldn't get back to sleep. So I literally feel like I'm dead. It's like having a baby. You shouldn't wake up at five o'clock in the morning. I know it's good that she let me know she needed a wee, but oh my gosh, I can't cope with mornings like that. So I'm very tired this morning. So anyway, off to enjoy my breakfast. Oh, look at the weather compared to the last couple of days. Wow. We were very spoiled. That's why when the blue sky comes out, you really have to enjoy every minute. Uh, right, so I need to wash up and dishwasher and I'm gonna ring my mum. So I've been on the phone to my mum for an hour and it's now raining. Can you see it in my bird bath? It's a miserable day. So I said to my mum, I'm off to the doctor. She's like, oh, good luck. Yeah, horrible. So we're now killing time. Um, so it's about 10 o'clock. Um, so we've got a couple of hours to kill. I'm not sure what to do. I've got a tiny bit of ironing to do. Mm, so while we're killing time, um, I thought I'd do my ironing. I've not got a lot to do, but little and often keeps the ironing fairy away. Not the ironing fairy, keeps the ironing nightmare away. So little and often is definitely the trick for ironing. I have my friends with me. <laughs> Bless them. And here I am. I've got empty the bin next as well. I've got something down me. Yeah, I have. I thought, well, I'll just throw this on again. Uh, I'll have to change that before I go. Uh, so the opticians have just rung me. Your glasses are ready. <laughs> Today's going to be one of those days, isn't it? I've got that 
I'm feeling again. And I know a lot of you do stuff with anxiety, so you can totally relate to me. Um, thank you for being there with me. It means an awful lot. It gives me somewhere to like share my experience and I know it helps you as well. I know some of you have had a terrible time at the minute and oh, it's just nice to know that you're not alone, isn't it? I know a lot of YouTubers you watch and they live such wonderful lives and, you know, they go shopping all the time and stuff and, you know, but again, they probably do have problems, but they don't share them on social media, whereas I like to be a bit more real life. So obviously we do go into our shops quite a lot, um, but it's just nice to sort of share the ups and downs of real life. So yeah, thank you very, very much for being here with me. And I'm very tired from Florence. <laughs> Florence, I don't want to get up at like off four or five o'clock tomorrow morning. So, finish me ironing. Who do we need? She's snoring away. <laughs> Hard life, isn't it, when you've read? Right, 11 o'clock. So, this is my little mirror from upstairs. Well, it's not little, but it's a lot smaller than the other mirror that we used to have in the hall. So, I bought it. I didn't bring it. My husband and James bought it downstairs for me last night. Um... I don't know whether I like it here or not, but it's not as big as the other one, but it's just nice to check your outfit before you go out the door. Um, anyway, they've put it upside down because that, we restored that on when she was a little baby, so it was the other way around. And I've just noticed when I looked in it, I thought, I can't see myself clearly. And don't know if you can see on the glass, it's gone all like foggy. I think it's like hairspray and stuff. And so I've got some Mr. Muscle. I'm wondering if it'll clean it off. It's clear everywhere else. It's just this it was obviously the bottom of it and it's got more dirt in the top, but I wonder if it'll come off. Wow, Mr. Muscle. I'm very impressed. So, let's cut it off. Look at that. Wow, I'm very impressed with that, Mr. Muscle. Mr. Muscle window cleaner. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. So, while the cloth's in my hand, I thought we'd give it a little polish as well. So I'm polishing my little whole chandelier. Um, and it's 11 11. So if you feel you need to, Make yourself a little wish. I'll give you permission. Even though it won't be 11 11 where you are now. Um, make yourself a little wish. Because while you're watching this video, it was 11 11. Mm. Next mirror cleaned. So if you've got some mirrors to clean, ladies and gentlemen. Mr Muscle, window and glass. I can't believe how good it is. Right, next job. Take the rubbish out. Keeping it real. <laughs> it's very glamorous, isn't it? Taking the rubbish out. Do you all think you can help me empty the bins? <laughs> you would if you could, wouldn't you? Hey. Ooh, so I've just been looking on the internet and Farrah Ball have recently released some new paint colours. They've released, released, released a new pink shade. Ooh, it's very pink, Winifred. Um, I think it's called Shallot and it is so beautiful. It's like my favourite pinky light -like colour. It's lovely. Mm. So I've got about 40 minutes till I've got to go. So... I've made myself a cup of coffee in her ladyship mug and in a minute I'm going to pull myself together a little sandwich. Right, so as I've said before, Dolly does this weird thing where sometimes she doesn't eat at breakfast and she gets her pee mat and she buries the food that she doesn't want to eat yet. So she's been very busy this morning burying it and she looks at me as if to say, look, look what I've done, it's wonderful. Yeah, clever, aren't you? Why don't you just eat it? You are so daft. Aren't animals funny? The funny little quirky things they do. Right, dinner. Obviously, I'm not really hungry because I don't like going to medical appointments. But you've got to eat. So it's five past twelve. I've got a, a white roll with some cooked chicken, some cranberry. Right, my darlings. Are you ready? Ready for a bit of chicken? Oh, I do love you. I wish you could all come with me. Although, Dolly, you'd shout at everybody, wouldn't you? I think they should have a therapy pet. <laughs> Did you fall over that crock then, Florence? Right, are you ready? There you go, my darling Florence. Right, Donnikins and Winifred. Winifred, who doesn't get out of bed, except when she's feeling the need, like she was yesterday morning. Right, there you go. You got it. Nice, isn't it? That lovely chicken. Lovely, jubbly. Right, right. lipstick of the day. So I only wanted to put like a neutral one on because my lips felt a little bit dry, so I thought, oh, I need to put something on my lips. So it looks like I've got lipstick on but I haven't got lipstick on if that makes sense no that doesn't make sense at all so it looks like I've not got lipstick on but I have got a little bit on so I've got the same one as yesterday so it's this lovely Avon new suede one and it's just a really lovely neutral colour um it just gives you a tiny bit of colour without looking like you've got loads of lipstick on or anything it's just really nice I really like it feels lovely on your lips mm, I don't even know what coat to put on 
The weather is so odd. Why is there a car pulling up outside my house? Ooh, must be a delivery person or something. Anyway, so off we go. Jeans, I've swapped my cardigan. Right, let's go. Why is it every dinner time when I want to go out the house there's somebody parked near my driveway? So today we've got Asda. <laughs> oh dear. Hmm. So the car park was full, so I've parked around the corner. Um, no, I've just got to wait. <laughs> Um, so I'll wait for five minutes in my car and then I'll go. So if you're worried about anything, please go and get yourself checked. Mm. And I've got a coat on. But I'm actually thinking, I don't think I need a coat on. I've got boob sweat. I always get boob sweat when I'm nervous. <laughs> mm. And it's just started raining again. Oh, lovely British weather. back in the car so we haven't been gone long at all luckily there was like no one in there <laughs> i don't know why um so i was in and out very very quickly um she doesn't think it's anything to worry about but she's going to refer me just to get double checked so i've just got to wait for a letter to come now so we'll put it to the back of our mind and wait for a letter to come um but yeah so if you're worried please go right not sure what to do now um it's about it's only 10 to 1 <laughs> we've literally been five minutes so that was very lucky. Uh, we could nip somewhere or go home. I'm not sure. Right, we've arrived at a little village. So I thought I'd just come for a little rummage. I've got to go to the cup anyway to get some milk and cheese. So I thought oh, I'll tie it in with a rummage. Take a mind off everything. Let's go. Yeah, I will. Thank you.
I'm speechless. <laughs> the bloody weather, it's piddling it down. Oh, right. Anyway, we're not going to complain. <laughs> bloody weather. And I'm so tired, I just want to go home and eat cake. It's horrible. <laughs> right, so, let's get a couple of birthday cards. I've got an Easter card for my mum. Uh, right, and we'll make our way back home. Oh, right, mate. We can't even go for a WA. Okay, because it's raining, it's pouring now. Oh, I treat myself to some flowers. So I got some daffodils because only a pound of bunch. And then I got these, they were reduced to £3.30. But look at them. I love the like fadedness of them and I thought they were so pretty. And I thought, well, for £3.30, I'm sure they'll last a little bit longer than like a couple of days, fingers crossed. And then I got Easter card for my mum. Because I'm sure my mum will love it. It says, Easter blessings. May your Easter be filled with peace and happiness. That's so nice. Coffee break. So, a cup of coffee, three strawberries and a Hartley's jelly. And what did I buy from the trade shop? I bought these joggers. Um, either I'll have them or Reba will have them. Um, but they're like slim leg ones. So there's no change room in there. But I thought, I think they'll be all right. So they're really nice and soft. And they've got pockets. My coffee was lovely and my jelly. Right, we're back in the car again. So Ruby won't go in my pink car. So we're in my husband's little blue Connormobile. Let's go and get Ruby. She was going to walk again, bless her, but it's pouring with rain. So I said I'd go and get her. It's quite relaxing listening to the rain, isn't it? Poor Ruby. She's got to walk from the bus to me. So she's got a little tiny bit of a walk, but this sort of rain, you get absolutely drenched. I'm hoping it stops before the bus comes. People drive far too fast, you know. When you sit here waiting, they come flying past you and you're thinking it's wet and the roads are slippery and they go too fast. They should only be doing 30, but they're definitely going faster than 30, some of them. So I'm still sat here in the rain and I've been reading some of your comments from last night's video and lovely Sarah said she's struggling because it's the anniversary of her mum dying and then the anniversary of her mum's death and oh and then Daisy said it's her mum's anniversary as well and oh my pair of sweethearts I feel for you so so much honestly I know some of you have already replied to lovely Sarah um and just thank you for being there for each other it means so much so I think we should put some hearts down below for lovely Sarah and Daisy just to know that she's not alone I mean this blooming weather doesn't help I don't know if you're in the UK but if you've got rain today I think that makes you feel worse as well so massive massive hugs and like my mum always says just try and take it one day at a time and know that you're not alone we're all here for you we've all suffered loss so we know what it's like and it's absolutely but it's bloody heartbreaking you have to be so brave so sarah my darling big 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 hugs and let's all put some hearts down below for us so that she knows today that she's not alone so we're sat here now watching dolly trying to get something out of the toy basket but we don't know what she's trying to get what are you trying to get? What do you want? Something that's at the back? Do want me to help you? We're being lazy, aren't we? Just watching you. Right, go on then. What do you want? I'm not saying you're spoiled or anything, but you've got rather a lot of toys. Right, what do you want? Which one's it going to pick? <laughs> Have you got it? Oh my gosh. Really? Have you got it? What do you want? Right, does that help? What do you want? Well, get it then. <laughs> what do you want? So stop laughing at me. <laughs> what did you want? You just wanted them all. <laughs> I really don't get which one you wanted. See, some of your favourites here in the look of the smelly old sock. Florence's pheasant that Florence has had since she was a baby. Which one? Well, I just wanted them all, I think. <laughs> you are funny. I literally. Oh. 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 What's it got? It's Kong. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you had that when you were a baby. That's your little Kong. So you're supposed to put a treat in it and then they sit there sucking it for absolutely ages. Well, I hope there's not a fusty old treat in it. <laughs> 
Oh, look at my roses. They are absolutely gorgeous. So I've had a little move around, put a little mirror in the corner, my roses, and then my little spring window. I feel like we need a little rabbit or something to sit in it, but I've put my daffodils in, and obviously my little sign that I got from Asda, love it. It's so cute. Right, I've rushed myself up some tea, so tea tonight. Obviously I've weighed it all, so I've got 180 grams of McCain's lower fat chips, which are lovely. 10 grams, no sorry, 20 grams of mozzarella, a small portion of frozen peas, some very fat, low fat mayonnaise and Young's fish, which think about 200 and something calories. Off to enjoy it. Oh, it was lovely. <laughs> that was a beautiful spin, thank you very much. Right, lovely Florence, here you go darling. Right, Winifred. Oh, Winifred. There you go. And last but not least, little spinny dolly, go. <laughs> go on then. <laughs> oh, your door's shut, hang on. It's a minute, right, go. <laughs> right, so we just need to, not wash up, we need to fill up the dishwasher, um, do a rose pack up for tomorrow, then we finally might get to sit down. I've borrowed Ruby's jelly cat. So cute. <laughs> and my little daffodils are starting to pop. And we're filling up the dishwashing bowl, not dishwashing bowl, washing up bowl again. Oh, my little solar lights are working, bless them. Even though we've not really had that much sunshine. I don't know what Dolly's doing. She wanted to go out. She likes standing out there a lot. <laughs> right, my dears. I'm watching what Florence is doing. I think there must be a crumb under the oven. She keeps bending down trying to put a foot under the oven. No idea what she's on with. Anyway, my dears, many thanks for being there with me today. Give me a little bit of moral support and just being there with me it means an awful lot and obviously put some love hearts down below as well for everyone that's having a bit of a tough time and like somebody said earlier on it's such a lovely community we've got going out here and it's so nice to know that we're all here for each other and it just means so much it really does so sending a virtual hug to you all so obviously i've got to wait for my next appointment and it's like I'll explain more when I know more. It's like, but if you worry about something, just go and get it checked. If I can go, anyone can go. So if you do enjoy just a little bit of real life with its ups and downs, life's like a bloody roller coaster, then please subscribe to my channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. My dogs have got Instagram, which is sweet for us. My website is down below. My little TikTok's down below. So I sometimes put funny videos of my dogs on. Um, and my Avon shop is also down below. It's all down below. So I love you and leave you. I'll see you tomorrow. And tonight, finish, I think Coma's on again tonight. Um, and what else was I watching? Oh, Interior Design Masters. I watched that last night as well. I love watching house programs. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.